sectorial versus diversified funds, which investment strategy is right for you. Investing in mutual funds is a popular way to grow your wealth, but with so many options available, it can be overwhelming to choose the right investment strategy. Two popular approaches are sectorial and diversified funds. A sectorial fund focuses on a particular industry or sector, while a diversified fund spreads the investment across various sectors to minimize risk. While both approaches have their merits, determining which one is right for you depends on your investment goals, risk tolerance, and overall financial situation. In this article, we will explore the key differences between sectorial and diversified funds, their advantages and disadvantages, and how to choose the right investment strategy to meet your financial goals. So, whether you are a seasoned investor or just starting, keep listening to find out which investment approach is right for you. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to our channel and smash that notification bell to make sure you're getting all of our up-to-date content. What are sectorial funds? Sectorial funds are mutual funds that invest primarily in a specific industry or sector. These funds are also known as specialized funds or thematic funds. The focus of sectorial funds is to capitalize on the growth potential of a particular industry or sector. For example, a sectorial fund may invest in the technology sector, healthcare sector, or energy sector. Sectorial funds are a great way to invest in a particular industry or sector that you believe has significant growth potential. If you have a strong interest or knowledge in a particular industry or sector, then investing in a sectorial fund can be a great way to capitalize on that interest. Moreover, sectorial funds can provide diversification within a particular industry or sector, which can help to reduce risk. However, sectorial funds can also be risky. Since sectorial funds are focused on a particular industry or sector, they are more susceptible to fluctuations in that industry or sector. For instance, if you invest in a technology sectorial fund and the technology sector experiences a downturn, then your investment will also likely experience a decline. Therefore, it is essential to consider the risks associated with investing in sectorial funds and to have a well-diversified investment portfolio. Pros and cons of investing in sectorial funds? Pros Potential for higher returns Sectorial funds can provide higher returns than diversified funds if the particular industry or sector experiences significant growth. For example, if you invest in a healthcare sectorial fund and the healthcare industry experiences a significant increase in demand due to demographic changes, then your investment can provide higher returns than a diversified fund. Capitalize on knowledge and interest. Sectorial funds can enable you to capitalize on your knowledge and interest in a particular industry or sector. If you have expertise in the technology sector or have a keen interest in renewable energy, then investing in a sectorial fund that focuses on these areas can be a great way to capitalize on your expertise and interest. Diversification within a sector. Sectorial funds can provide diversification within a particular industry or sector. For instance, if you invest in a technology sectorial fund, you can diversify your investment across various subsectors such as software, hardware, or semiconductors. Cons Higher risk Since sectorial funds are focused on a particular industry or sector, they are more susceptible to fluctuations in that industry or sector. Therefore, investing in sectorial funds can be riskier than investing in diversified funds. Limited Diversification Although sectorial funds can provide diversification within a particular industry or sector, they do not provide broad diversification across various industries or sectors. Therefore, investing in sectorial funds can leave your portfolio vulnerable to risks associated with a particular industry or sector. Lack of Flexibility Sectorial funds can be less flexible than diversified funds. Since sectorial funds are focused on a particular industry or sector, they may not be able to adapt to changes in the market as quickly as diversified funds. What are diversified funds? Diversified funds are mutual funds that invest in a variety of industries and sectors. The focus of diversified funds is to spread the investment across various sectors to minimize risk. 
For example, a diversified fund may invest in the technology sector, healthcare sector, energy sector, and consumer goods sector. Diversified funds are a great way to minimize risk and provide a well-diversified investment portfolio. Since diversified funds invest in various industries and sectors, they are less susceptible to fluctuations in a particular industry or sector. Therefore, investing in diversified funds can provide a stable and consistent return on investment. However, diversified funds can also have lower returns than sectorial funds. Since diversified funds invest across various industries and sectors, they may not be able to capitalize on the growth potential of a particular industry or sector. Pros and Cons of Investing in Diversified Funds Pros Minimize Risk Diversified funds can minimize risk by spreading the investment across various industries and sectors. Therefore, investing in diversified funds can provide a stable and consistent return on investment. Broad Diversification Diversified funds provide broad diversification across various industries and sectors. Therefore, investing in diversified funds can provide a well-diversified investment portfolio that is less susceptible to fluctuations in a particular industry or sector. Flexibility Diversified funds are more flexible than sectorial funds. Since diversified funds invest in various industries and sectors, they can adapt to changes in the market more quickly than sectorial funds. Cons Lower returns Diversified funds may have lower returns than sectorial funds since they invest across various industries and sectors. Therefore, diversified funds may not be able to capitalize on the growth potential of a particular industry or sector. Lack of focus Diversified funds lack focus since they invest across various industries and sectors. Therefore, investing in diversified funds may not enable you to capitalize on your knowledge and interest in a particular industry or sector. Overlapping holdings Diversified funds may have overlapping holdings. Since diversified funds invest in various industries and sectors, some of the holdings may overlap, which can limit diversification. Factors to consider when choosing between sectorial and diversified funds when choosing between sectorial and diversified funds, there are several factors that you should consider. These include Investment goals Your investment goals will determine which investment strategy is right for you. If your goal is to maximize returns, then investing in sectorial funds may be right for you. However, if your goal is to minimize risk, then investing in diversified funds may be right for you. Risk tolerance your risk tolerance will determine which investment strategy is right for you. If you are comfortable with higher risks, then investing in sectorial funds may be right for you. However, if you are risk-averse, then investing in diversified funds may be right for you. Knowledge and expertise Your knowledge and expertise will determine which investment strategy is right for you. If you have expertise in a particular industry or sector, then investing in sectorial funds may be right for you. However, if you lack expertise, then investing in diversified funds may be right for you. Time horizon Your time horizon will determine which investment strategy is right for you. If you have a long-term investment horizon, then investing in sectorial funds may be right for you. However, if you have a short-term investment horizon, then investing in diversified funds may be right for you. How to invest in sectorial and diversified funds Investing in sectorial and diversified funds is easy. You can invest in these funds through a brokerage account, mutual fund company, or financial advisor. To invest in sectorial and diversified funds, follow these steps. Determine your investment goals and risk tolerance. Research sectorial and diversified funds that align with your investment goals and risk tolerance. Choose a sectorial or diversified fund that meets your investment criteria. Open a brokerage account, mutual fund account, or financial advisor account. Invest in the sectorial or diversified fund of your choice. Top sectorial and diversified funds to consider. Here are some of the top sectorial and diversified funds to consider. 
Top Sectorial Funds Fidelity Select Technology Portfolio, FSPTX T. Rowe Price Health Sciences Fund, PRHSX Vanguard Information Technology Index Fund, Vitax Top Diversified Funds Vanguard Total Stock Market Index Fund, VTSMX Fidelity 500 Index Fund, FXAIX Schwab International Index Fund, SWISX Risks Associated with Sectorial and Diversified Funds Investing in sectorial and diversified funds comes with risks. Some of the risks associated with these funds include Market Risk Sectorial and diversified funds are subject to market risk. Therefore, if the market experiences a downturn, then your investment will also likely experience a decline. Sector Risk Sectorial funds are subject to sector risk. Therefore, if the particular industry or sector experiences a downturn, then your investment will also likely experience a decline. Concentration Risk Sectorial funds are subject to concentration risk. Therefore, if the majority of your investment is in a particular industry or sector, then your investment will be more susceptible to fluctuations in that industry or sector. Overlapping Holdings Diversified funds may have overlapping holdings. Since diversified funds invest in various industries and sectors, some of the holdings may overlap, which can limit diversification. Conclusion Which investment strategy is right for you? Choosing between sectorial and diversified funds depends on your investment goals, risk tolerance, knowledge, and expertise. If you have a strong interest or knowledge in a particular industry or sector, then investing in a sectorial fund can be a great way to capitalize on that interest. Moreover, sectorial funds can provide diversification within a particular industry or sector, which can help to reduce risk. However, sectorial funds can also be risky and lack flexibility. On the other hand, diversified funds can provide broad diversification across various industries and sectors, which can minimize risk. Moreover, diversified funds are more flexible than sectorial funds and can adapt to changes in the market quickly. However, diversified funds may have lower returns than sectorial funds and lack focus. In conclusion, sectorial and diversified funds are both great investment strategies. The key is to determine which investment strategy aligns with your investment goals, risk tolerance, knowledge, and expertise. By doing so, you can create a well-diversified investment portfolio that helps you achieve your financial goals. Check out the description section below for more information and sources that will help you no matter where you are in your investing journey. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, before you leave, make sure you like this video, subscribe and let me know what you think in the comment section below. So you don't miss out, make sure you smash that notification bell to know when we drop new content. Thank you for watching this video. See you in the next one.